All right, this is the unboxing of the Snap Studio Ultimate Portable Vocal Booth. Comes in a pretty big size box, about the size of like a Christmas tree box. And you can see in here, they do not want you to use knives to open it because there's pads inside. All right, so it's a good call not using knives. All these pads are right up top. So you got to be very careful not to cut them. And inside the box, you get two duffel bags. The skinnier one holds all the frames and the poles. And then this larger one will carry all the blankets for you. All right, you also get these pre-packaged. You got elastic bands, a hanging LED bulb, the iPhone, iPad tablet clip, and you get two LED bar lights and the first step is to go ahead and get your floor pad set out this is really helpful because you can see how big it's going to be how much room is going to take up and i've got a socket there in case we need it for the lights and then we're going to start making the base of our frame you need two of the poles that already have the connectors on it and then two straight ones and there we go, we've got the base made. And the next step, you wanna get four of these that have this connector already assembled to it. These are gonna start building the walls. And there you go, you can see the walls starting to come together. And now we need just four of the straight poles with no connectors to finish the walls. And there you go, you can see it's getting taller. And then we come back to the first step we started with to do the ceiling, you need two pipes with the joints on them and two straight ones. This next step, you wanna get the five large elastic bands. We're gonna slide them on top of this roof so that the ceiling blanket doesn't fall in. All right, you just slide them over the poles like that, get them evenly spaced out. You get it on like that. And this all goes up pretty easily and quickly. I think I've only been doing this maybe 15, 20 minutes and that's with stopping to film. Now we're starting to install the sound blankets. You just wanna find the corner one, attach it up here, just like a shower curtain would. And on the front, you wanna have three. All right, so this is the inside so far. We got our first three, one, two, three. And then we haven't clipped these yet on the right wall, the back wall. You walk this first blanket all the way around to the left wall and you wanna have the last two remaining. So you got this one clipped, one, two. And you wanna have this first one after the second elastic band in between the second and third. So on these walls that are hanging, you should have four clips on each side, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now we're gonna attach them up here. All right, so when we're putting up the second blanket, we wanna make sure the first ring is in between these first two, so that for the door, it overlaps and closes properly. Then we're gonna attach two more rings right here for the front. And now for the sides, we're gonna start clipping again four on each side and when we get to where we're overlapping the other blanket we want to insert them in between the other rungs so here and so on and when you get to the opposite side that you started on you should have two rungs on this side just like you did on the first blanket now we're going to hang up the first led light bulb it already comes fully charged and has a three brightness switch on here. And we're gonna hang it in a corner on one of the elastic bands. It's got a charging port at the top. You can take it off and charge it whenever it dies. We're installing the iPad holder now. It comes in two parts. It's got this part that's gonna wrap around the pole and buckle in here. And this snaps on to the front right there. And this is also adjustable. You can go for 
phones, and then you can extend for tablets. So we've got that set up. Comes on a pivot switch. You can loosen this if you want to tilt it any kind of direction. Now we're going to install these color changing LED light bars. We're going to need the four small elastic bands to do that. It comes with a remote to control the colors with. It also comes with command strips and these metal brackets. That's just for if you want to install it underneath the cabinet or somewhere else. You can peel the film off. I know people like watching that. And you want to hang the light bars up here in between two of the elastic bands, having the smaller elastic bands in the middle. And we're going to pull this around and over to keep it from sliding out. So when you do, it should look like that on each end. Keeps it tight and secure in there. Now it's time to put the roof on. The roof has corners on it, kind of like a fitted sheet does. All right, the roof is on and it's finished. All in all, it didn't take too long. I'm gonna do another video where I test it and do a review on it, but this is just the unboxing and building. Thank you.